weather prediction, stock market analysis and also machine learning. So for example, machine learning is nothing but a make a machine to learn by a human intelligence called the R lab. So after that, load that library. So first we have to install that packages, then only we can load that packages that is R lab. Tomorrow we can find out like a, it's a rainy day. Likewise, we can use a statistics distribution that is a common probability distribution to predict the result for our variables. Hello students, welcome to the session 1 of unit 3 in statistical computing and also R programming. In the last session, we already know what are the functions and also exceptions under the unit 2. So let's discuss about the unit 3. This is the session 1. Let's discuss what are all the contents in unit 3. So this is Asha, the faculty of computer science at Vidyashram First Grade Degree College, the temple of excellence Mysuru. So here in today's session, we can know about the what are all the statistics and basics of the statistics common probability functions and also density functions, mass functions. These are all comes under the statistics and also probability functions. So here you can see the probability, the study of chance and how likely it is that event will occur. So how much the event will occur using a probability. So here you can see one example. So when I flip a coin, if a fair coin, when I flip that, either the tail or the head, 50-50 chance, not getting the 100% of head or as a tail. So, likewise, a probability of the head or as a tile, the probability theoretically branch of mathematics that studies the consequences of the mathematical definition. So, here you can see one example, when I toss a dice and also, so cards, that is how the probability of chance of getting a either 50%, 75%, like that. So, here you can see statistics. So, statistics is nothing but a a study of data including how we collect and summarize the presented. So visually we can represent in a using a statistics functions and also so statistics is an applied branch of mathematics that tries to make a sense of observation in real world. So here you can see one example how uh, for example statistics can be used to find the most frequently used in item from a set. So statistics is nothing but a consider one data. So the data will contains what? set of numbers 2, 2 and also 3, 4, 6, 6, 8. So how the data will be frequently repeated? So here you can see 2 is repeated and also 6 is repeated. 4, 3, 8 is not repeated. Likewise, how much the data will repeated consequently? That is called statistics. So here you can see uh, some common probability distributions. So you already know what are all the statistics basics, the mean and also median and also mode, a standard deviation and also variance. These are all the basics of the statistics. So using these functions, how can, how can we derive some common probability distribution? A probability distribution is a statistical function that lists a possible outcome in a random variable that correspond the probability. How the random variable using the probability it will be collected. And also probability distribution are used in many real worlds such as a weather prediction, stock market analysis and also machine learning. So for example, machine learning is nothing but a make a machine to learn by a human intelligence, right? So stock prediction, if a stock is like a 80% today date, so stock will be predicted for a tomorrow date, it can be reduced to 50% or so 40% and also 85% sometimes, right? And also weather forecasting. In, in today's weather, mostly cloudy. In tomorrow, we can find out like a, it's a rainy day. Likewise, we can use a statistics distribution that is a common probability distribution to predict the result for our variables. Here are some common probability distribution. What are all the distribution? Continuous, also uniform, discrete, binomial and also normal. So discrete our distribution is equally like outcomes and also a distribution equally like outcomes and also binomial a random variable that can access the variables and also normal a continuous systematic and also distribution it's a mean and also variance so let's discuss one by one distribution in detail so here you can see the first one binomial distribution a binomial distribution is nothing but a probability it uses what distribution used in statistics and also the binomial distribution is a discrete distribution as only two outcome. This is you have to concentrate. For binomial, we only use for the two predictions or the two outcomes. 
so all its trials will be independent the probability of success remains the same and the previous outcome does not affect the what next outcome and here you can see one formula so you already know ncr so in probability so what do you mean by ncr n factorial n factorial divided by n minus r factorial into r factorial so what are all the outcome for for example 0 1 2 3 these are all the for n and also n number of trays is 5 so when i calculate this i got what the probability of k so x is equal to a k is 1 so then only we can calculate a p is the probability of success and q is the probability of failure so probability so p is 50 percent and also q is 50 percent that can be written in statistics that is 0.5 percentage and also this is as a 0.5 percent this is how we have to calculate the using the formula and also when i summarize a failure and also success which is equal to 1 so for example if i place a coin it will be 0.5 percentage of success and 0.5 percentage of failure right so that's why p plus q is equal to 1 is true so if p is not 100 percent because a getting head could be 75 percent a getting tail would be a 25 percent right like how so and also here you can see some common functions used in binomial distribution to calculate the binomial distribution we have to use some set of functions that is inbuilt functions providing by the r let's see one by one the first one d binom second one p binom and q binom and lastly r binom so d binom means a density which can be written as the syntax is x comma size and also probability so x could be a uh, one and also a size could be number of eight and also what probability of getting a 0.5 percentage of a success and also see here p binom a probability binom binom is nothing but a, a keyword used in a binomial theorem that is what x comma size comma lower dot tail is equal to false so when i give lower dot tail is equal to true the possibility of failure also it will be calculated so when i leave it as false it will not calculate it only calculate what a success rate so likewise and also q binom a quantile binom so here you can see a p size and also probability and here n comma size comma probability and x is a what a vector of numbers p is a vector of probability n is a number of observation from a coin so if i flip a coin for five times what is my n is n is five so for each trial i got a, a probability of success and also probability of failure likewise we have to give so we can use r and also p and also d binom and also q binom so let's discuss one by one how the problems will be come so here you can see find the probability of winning exactly 19 times out of what's 25 coins so when i flip the coin up to what 25 so what is the n value here you can see 25 and also 19.5 so when i give this uh, result to the d binom means d binomial x comma size square the probability of getting success is 0 0.009 9. so like how you have to give so let's discuss p binom a uh, getting 10 is lesser than 25 tosses so what is the x here n is 25 and also getting what probability of 10 or less so that's why 10 is the minimum and also getting that 0 0.021 so compare d binom and also p binom the variation should be there right so and also the third one 25th quantile so quantile is nothing but a distribution like this this is also one quantile this is also one quantile this is also quantile means this is 25 percent this is 25 percent this is 25 this is 25 this is the first quartile this is the second quartile this is the third quartile this is how we can differentiate the quartile so especially in a probability and statistics section so here you can see when i give this to the q binom so q is quartile function quartile binomial so 25 means 0 0.25 and 25 flips the getting head should be 0.5 means not 100 percent right that's why 0.5 means 50 percentage chance so that could be a 11 times so 25 trial means out of 25 flips i can get only 11 is heading success means head means success and also here you can see the fourth one to draw a random n random observation so we can use what r binomial a random binomial function which draws a random variables out of what 25 flips 
so i can get a 14 heads and i can get a 8 heads and i can get a 4 heads so like how it generates a random results so that's why it's a r binomial this is how you have to differentiate between the binomial functions got it now so here you can see a bernoulli distribution so this is also one of the common probability mass function got it so bernoulli distribution is a special case of binomial distribution where only a single trial is performed so in binomial the name itself says binom means by means to right so we can either check up what a fail or as a success success or the failure but here we calculate only what single means either success it could be there or as a what failure so that is what we have to concentrate it is a discrete probability a discrete probability is nothing but a continuous means the graph will be like this and also for discrete the data will be graphically generated like this this is how the discrete data will be generated and also for that we need a r lab packages how to install that r lab package call the install dot packages call the r lab so after that load that library so first we have to install that packages then only we can load that packages that is r lab so how the functions will be work so let's see the one by one function that is the d burn so d burn is nothing but a d bernoulli distribution so that's why burn is a function a d burn function in r programming measures a density function of bernoulli distribution so here you can see one syntax d burn and also the syntax will be x comma probability the getting of success or failure and also the probability either 0.5 percentage of success and also for p bernoulli distribution q and also probability getting of probability that is 0.5 so lower dot tail is equal to true so here you can see lower dot tail is equal to true means it calculates true also including a what success rate and also the third one q1 q means a quartile and also so when i pass a parameter this is the syntax p and also probability 0.5 and also lower dot tail is equal to true here and also lastly r bar so it generates a random sequences of the numbers that is using what a bernoulli distribution so here you can see a probability density function so we already get to know what are all the probability mass function that is what binomial and also bernoulli and also distribution like that poisson distribution likewise so probability density function the short form is pdf so it is a define an integral density of variable density over a given range of time it given a range of time in that range we can predict what are all the outcomes of a event of the variables and also a function whose integral is calculated to find the probabilities associated with a continuous random variables see the continuous probability theory it is a graph about what horizontal axis that defines a total area so here you can see a graph is generated like this this is what a, a probability density function this is how here you can see a set of means in this range the variable should be occur means the event should be occur is true so not here and also what not here likewise the probability of getting success rate will be include in a what in a limited that is called a range in that range the variables outcome will be predicted using probability density function so let's see what are all the functions the first one normal distribution so normal distribution is a probability function used in statistics that tells about how the data values are distributed along a range of given set of time and also it is the most important probability distribution function used in statistics because of its advantage in real cases also so and also here you can see one example the height of the population shoe size and also what iq level rolling a dice and also many more these are some real time examples we can see and also r has four inbuilt function for normal distribution every function has its own inbuilt functions like a binomial and also what bernoulli distribution likewise normal distribution is also having some inbuilt functions so here you can see a d burn p burn and also q and also r norm so d norm so d norm means d normal distribution d normal distribution function p normal distribution q so what is the syntax how can we write the syntax so here you can see we pass the x variable and also we have to know the mean and also standard deviation comes to the normal distribution so in binomial and also what bernoulli distribution we have to only concentrate on two possibilities means success or failure but here 
we have to know the mean and also standard deviation of that uh, variable. So, here you can see a vector of numbers. So, where x is the vector of numbers, p is the vector of probabilities, n is the number of observation means sample size and also mean is the mean value of the sample data, its default value is 0. If the mean is not given in a problem, we can consider that mean and also standard deviation is 0. That is also true. Standard deviation is the standard deviation, it is default value is 1. So, when mean is not getting, mean is not there, we can consider mean is 0. When standard deviation is not given, we can consider standard deviation as 1. This is how you can calculate. So, for D norm, P norm and also Q norm and also R norm. This is how you can use the normalized distribution. And also here you can see the D norm function. The function D norm returns the value of probability density function, a PDF normal distribution, a certain normal random distribution of x. So, here you can see the syntax and also one problem is given. Find the value of standard normal distribution using the probability density function. For that we use a what? D norm. This is an inbuilt function. Apply. So, there is no x at 0. But they are not giving the mean and also standard deviation as I previously told in a slide. So, what is mean? We consider if a mean is not given, standard deviation is not given, we have to consider mean 0, standard deviation as 1. So, the probability of getting a chances of success, we can see 0 0.39. This is how you have to calculate. And also by default, R uses mean 0 and also standard deviation. Apply that D norm x0, the probability 0 0.39. This is how you have to calculate a D norm. So, let us T student T distribution. A T distribution also known as a T student T distribution. So, T distribution is also called student T distribution and also is a statistical function that describes how a set of observation are distributed when the population standard deviation unknown or sample size is very small. A sample size is very small compared to what a normal and also binomial and also Bernoulli distribution. This is where the student distribution is comes under. So, here you can see a simple standard formula t is equal to what mean of x is a minus mean and also standard deviation of n means number of samples and also t is t score sample mean and also population mean and also what standard deviation of the sample and also n is the sample number of the sample size and also when to use the t distribution. So, when we can apply the t distribution, so the sample size is lesser than 40. So, here you can see a normal distribution value comes like this means continuous data. But here in student t distribution, the sample is only like this means up to here means this is considered as 60, this is considered as 25. Only up to 30 sample size we can consider what? A student t distribution and the population standard deviation. That is what standard deviation is unknown. So, when we do not know the standard deviation, we can use this. And the population distribution must be unimodal and squeezed. So, this is how the normal distribution is this and also student t distribution is smaller than the normal distribution. The sample size of normal distribution is more than 100. But compared to student t distribution, we can the sample size of data is only lies between 0 to 30. Like how we can differentiate. Thank you.